King Charles has made history by becoming the first British monarch to address the Bundestag in Berlin as part of his ongoing state visit to Germany. He spoke almost the entire speech in German, which was well received by the MPs in attendance, who applauded his words and nodded their approval throughout. The King's speech focused on the close friendship between Britain and Germany, a relationship that has been fostered over many decades. He also talked about the Queen's love for Germany and how moved he was by the tributes paid to her by the German people after her death last year. In addition, Charles praised Germany for its support of Ukraine in the face of aggression from Russia, saying that Europe's security was threatened by the conflict. He was encouraged, however, by the unity shown by Britain, Germany and other nations in standing against Russian aggression. The king also lightened the mood by joking about the friendly rivalry between two countries on the football pitch, referencing the Lionesses' recent victory over Germany women's team in the Euro 2022 tournament. The audience applauded when he talked about how people from different countries can laugh with and at each other and how they all adore the same kind of music, literature and sports. The monarch said, in just a few weeks' time, the astonishing music of George Frederick Handel, who was born a German and died British, will once again soar through Westminster Abbey at the coronation, just as it has at every coronation since that of my seven times great-grandfather, King George II, in 1727. No mention was made of Brexit, although the King did express interest in Germany and Britain collaborating on zero energy buildings and renewable energy sources like wind farms. Charles addressed dignitaries and German parliamentarians in both German and English, saying he was honoured to re-establish the links of friendship between the two countries. During his speech, he also paid tribute to his mother and thanked the German people for their deep sympathies following the death of Queen Elizabeth. In 1965, when the continent was still scarred by war, the King's mother made her first trip to Germany. Earlier today, the King has taken home some German cheese and his wife Camilla chomped on dairy delicacies and honey as the royal couple were greeted by more huge crowds in Berlin today. On day two of his historic state visit, the British monarch was greeted warmly by Chancellor Olaf Scholz as he arrived at the Federal Chancellery Building. He and the Queen Consort Camilla then met up at the city's Wittenberg Plaza food market. Along with talking to a variety of local business owners, the royal couple learned about the market's history and its products. The crowds and vendors were excited for the pair to try their sausages, cheese, honey and fresh fruits and vegetables, and Charles had several hearty laughs with them. The King and Queen Consort's state visit to Germany began on Wednesday with a ceremonial greeting at Berlin's iconic Brandenburg Gate. At a black tie state luncheon, that German president, Frank Walter Steinmeier hosted at Bellevue Palace on Wednesday. Charles also gave a speech in German. Speaking to the dignitaries present, he took the chance to command the close ties that the UK and Germany share while also thanking them for their kindness and hospitality throughout his visit. Elke Buddenbender, the First Lady, as well as Camilla, the Queen Consort, were present. Both German and British dignitaries, including former German Chancellor Angela Merkel and British Foreign Secretary James Cleveley, were also invited. The King addressed the audience in German, saying, It's hard to know how to thank you enough for those extremely kind words and your unforgettable hospitality in such a festive setting. It is wonderful to be in such large company tonight, and it is nice of you all not to have left me alone with a dinner for one. My wife and I have been so deeply touched by the warmth extended to us in Germany, just as we have on each of our previous visits to this very special country. I have visited Germany more than 40 times, a sign naturally which shows, of course, how important our relationships are to me but also, I fear, of just how long I have been around. And from each of these visits, I have memories that are very special. I think, Mr. President, of the particular kindness and friendship which you and Frau Burdenbender showed to both my wife and myself on our last visit to Berlin in 2019 and 2020. 
He also went on to pay tribute to his mother, the late Queen Elizabeth, stating that the bond between the UK and Germany mattered greatly to her, agreeing that it was also of great importance to him. The king added that, The connections between us will grow ever stronger, he said, citing the cherished friendship the nation share. He also discussed how the two nations will continue to cooperate to tackle obstacles like climate change by standing side by side to preserve shared democratic values and to protect Ukraine from unprovoked aggression. The king also discussed environmental issues, sustainability and international relations in the wake of the UK's exit from the EU.